Ladies and gentlemen, how we doing? As I click to enlarge, and boy, Blizzard, you done goofed. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it is about Diablo 4's preseason patch. So let's just get right into it, shall we? Now this is uh, via PC Gamer. Um, the Diablo 4 community is breathing fire and brimstone over the game's latest batch of nerfs and changes. Rightfully so, in my opinion. And we're gonna we're gonna go over just a, the surface level of why everybody is kind of pissed off here. All the links and stuff will be in the description below if you want to see everything that they've done. <clears throat> Diablo Forge Community is open revolt patch 1.10 dropped yesterday ahead of tomorrow's season one kickoff and brought with it a suit of changes to the game's balanced loot and unfortunately for them, sorcerers. Response from the player base has been negative to say the least. Um, now, they did say that they're going to have one of their campfire chat sessions this Friday to discuss. Um, so I will definitely be checking that out and giving you an update then. But until then, let's continue on here. Uh, PCG's Tyler Culp covered the community's intensely negative reaction to the patch. 1.1.0 sor sorcerer nerfs yesterday, but it's not just wizarding changes. Ha, <laughs> clever PC gamer that have people up in arms. So, let's continue down here. The reaction to the patch has been so vocal and so negative that it's almost impossible to capture it all here, which is true, because I kind of pro I proofread this. The reaction to the patch has been so vocal and so negative that it's almost impossible to capture it all here. This is true. Um, we asked for Endgame not to end the game a player named BG Stealth, ranked the patch over the coals for nerfing every class to the ground, for leaving monster density and resistances unfixed, and for failing to establish a real and engaging endgame. In mocking agreement, a player named Athmil asked, what do you mean no endgame? They added another uber unique that you can never get even after playing for 10,000 hours. I just, you know, I saw this coming. I just feel like I saw this coming. I think a lot of us did, but I digress. Let's continue. Other players are baffled at some of the changes that feel almost arbitrarily spiteful. They even put two extra seconds on teleports out of the dungeons, said user named Windstar, to which another player responded, that's Blizzard way of making eye contact with you and calmly and clearly saying, yes, I really truly do hate you with every ounce of my being. Uh, man, and it goes on. And, the, and these are great, though. Another player summed up the fan reaction in one easy phrase. Fix an issue where players were having fun. To my eyes, the negative response to the patch seems to have been colored heavily by players' negative reaction to Diablo 4's transition to live service. While I doubt there's any world in which a patch like this gets a warm reception. Yeah, true. Several players have interpreted the changes as cynical tricks to get them to dedicate more and more time to the game. It absolutely, 100%, 100, what, like Dr. Stone would say, 1 million percent is the reason why they, they're doing this. Making players weaker, enemies stronger, and sprinkling a few more ultra-rare items that you have to grind for hours, weeks, months to obtain has players suspicious, rightly or wrongly, that Blizzard just wants to keep them playing and, monetize a, and monetizable for as long as possible. This is all, quote, this is all about their bottom line, an attempt to have the play, the play, bleh, an attempt to have us play the game longer. Said a post by Dangerous1326, which garnered 10,000 upvotes on Reddit, which, let's take a look at it. They said, honestly, I'm just deleting the game. I think Blizzard is too far gone. A lot of people, including myself, are already burnt out. By the time we reach the end game, I'm not even talking about level 100. I'm talking about once you have to upgrade from sacreds to ancestrals and your character is fleshed out. Yet somehow Blizzard decides to double down and take a stab at a few things that make the game fun. I've never seen such a large patch dedicated to nerfs across the board. 
This is madness. See some of the comments. I just don't understand why they want to make this game more of a chore. Who approves these changes? Response, people that don't play video games and have no business making decisions about them. My problem is that they seem to caught up in balance and not actually trying to focus on what's fun. It's like every change and balance just being made by people sitting in a room, crunching numbers rather than playing. Mm. Experimenting and feeling what makes the game more enjoyable. Someone agrees. I'm willing to bet that's exactly it. Ay, 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 ay. It's an absolute mess. We'll see what Blizzard does to fix this. Um, again, you know, you guys want to see more of this. Uh, I have the Reddit post in, in, in the link below as well as the PC Gamer uh, article. What do you guys think? I got to be honest. This does not look good. Um, I... This kind of leaves a really bad taste in my mouth. I did beat the main storyline. I really don't feel like I want to continue playing the game, unfortunately. Um, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm trying to find the rest of the Lilith altars. I mean, I guess there's no harm in me finishing that up, but um, how do you guys feel? Are you uh, a sorcerer class? What are you going to do? Are you going to uninstall the game? Are you going to wait? and see what they do to adjust this patch uh, by this Friday. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you soon.